All right, here we go. We're going to do another checkpoint. So again, uh, try this on your own. Verify um, the left and the right side. And, uh, and then again, make sure you choose the correct side to start with. And then see if you can get it to, uh, you know, if you can try to transform it to the other side with a string of equals. And then come on back and see if you get the same thing that, that I got. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to start with the right side. Okay, so I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate. 1 plus cosine x over 1 plus cosine x. Notice that all I'm doing is multiplying by a form of 1, so I'm not changing the expression, so I can use equal sign. And so now what do I get? I get uh, sine x times the quantity 1 plus cosine x all over. Now again, I'm going to end up with a difference of two squares, so 1 minus cosine squared x. But this is going to give me sine, the Pythagorean identity. So this is going to uh, simplify to sine x times 1 plus cosine x all over sine squared x. Now I can cancel, right? So this is going to equal 1 plus cosine x all over sine x. Now I can split it up into two fractions, right? So I need two terms. I can split this up into two fractions. And I get 1 over sine x plus cosine x over sine x. And now I'm finished because 1 over sine x gives me my cosecant x plus cosine over sine gives me tangent x. Or excuse me, I'm sorry, cotangent x. And I'm done. All right, have a great day.